Michelle, I'm back. Michelle? Michelle? I've got something for you. A surprise. You're gonna like it. No rush, baby. I'll join you. Thanks, Andy. Hello? Hi. So, uh, what do we got? Um, what's uh, your name again? Yuri. Jack. What do we got, Jack? Uh, the victim of George Lawrence. He's in his late 50s. Wife's name is Michelle. He was popped in the head at close range. Mm. Anyone hear a gunshot last night? No, but I haven't spoken to the neighbours yet. Right. Uh, who found the body? Uh, his son, Aaron. He's here. Yeah? And the wife? Oh, she's gone. So is the car. She was parked in the mainland? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The car's a uh, late model Bob. Volvo uh, black and car. Now she's either running or she's been abducted. Oh, she's dead, John. She's dead. Margaret. Ah. Hey, can we get some of those blue gloves from you? Those ones? Yeah. There you go. Excellent. Thanks. Very hard to understand. Okay, so it's been cleared out. Right. That him in the photo, is it? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I hate mm. these gloves, eh? Oh, yeah. <sighs> well, this hasn't been touched. Well, he was shot here and dragged straight up onto the bed. That's odd, isn't it? I mean, what's the difference between yeah. there and there? Why would you move him? I don't know. What's all this stuff that's around? Candy hose little... materials. Oh, well, it's all through his head. Yeah. I oh, said so they, they shoved it in, they shoved it in the house and shot him straight through the mouth. At what time do you think you would have arrived here, Mr. Lawrence? About 8.30. The door was open, I could tell something was wrong. And I went in and... See, I had a meeting scheduled with Dad and he didn't show. And he wasn't answering his phone, so I came over and... We can continue this at another time if you want to. No, no, I'm fine. You sure? Go on. Okay, um, what was the meeting with your dad about? It was a marketing proposal. I work for dad's company. And what company is that? Uh, Femform. We make women's products. Oh. Uh, Pantyhose. Yeah. Well, other things as well. And yeah. underwear, clothes, that kind of thing. Yeah. Look, do you know where your dad's wife is? No, no idea. All right. Uh, how well do you know her? Michelle? Yeah. Well, reasonably well, I suppose. Why? Well, would you say that she and your dad had a happy marriage? Hey, come on. You don't think she could have done this? Well, we don't think anything at this stage, Mr Lawrence. We just want to find her. Well, they just got back from overseas. And he named his boat after her. I and mean, they loved each other. She could not have killed him. Well, can you account for your movements last night, Mr Lawrence? I was at home. Yeah, all night? Mm. Right, you got someone who can confirm that for us? Yep, my mum. I live with her. Right, what's her name? Lorna Murdoch. Lorna Murdoch. Okay, the same address, yeah? Mm. 
What do you got there, Tony? Take a look. What's that? Uh, looks like bits from a busted navlite or something. It's from Michelle Lawrence's dinghy. Uh, um, what makes you say that? Sorry, Mrs. Snape, Irene Snape. Oh, Detective Christie in Goldstein. No? What, what makes you say it's Michelle Lawrence's? Well, I watched her leave last night. She hit my runabout. You oh. saw her go? There was a man with her and they were getting into the boat. Oh, do, uh, would you recognise this man? Oh, no, it was very dark. But I know it was Michelle because I know the way she steers. And, and what time was this, Mrs. Snape? Ten past one. Uh, have you reported this to the police? I'm reporting it now, aren't I? Did, uh, did you hear anything earlier? Anything that could have been a gunshot? Oh, no. I, I take my hearing aid out at night. There was too much noise. Noise? Yes, from next door. Yelling and shouting and filthy language. Shopping. We're talking about the Lawrences, eh? Yes, they had dreadful rows. Well, when will she be back? No, I'm not trying to make any trouble. Look, can you just tell Gail that George Lawrence died? Lawrence? That's right. Yeah, look, don't worry. Did just get her to call me. Did you hear what happened to that? Yeah. OK. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Righto. Bye. Hey, did you hear what happened to that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> he did. He did. That's how it happened. It really was. Jack, Rachel. <laughs> oh, OK. That's how it happened. That's how it happened. Look, I just wanted you to know that I was with George Lawrence the day that he died. I've got a statement here outlining my movements for the weekend. Mm. Had the kids on Saturday night. You can check with Carl if you want. Were you friends with Lawrence? Friends? No, no. I wouldn't say that. Well, how long had it been since you'd seen him? I don't know. 20 years, 25 years. Mm. He joined the yacht club last year. All right, you were sailing. Why did he take you sailing? To refresh my memory. Remember that New Year's Eve cruise on the harbour? We drank the bar dry and... Had to jump ship. Oh, yeah, yeah. Happy days. <laughs> Almost drowned, as I recall. Passed out on a beach and woke up the next day sunburnt. Ancient history, Rachel. I think he just wanted to let me know how successful his life was. Her name's Michelle. Right. Michelle. Oh, and in case you're wondering, she's 24. What's the story on Michelle Lawrence? Oh, look, uh, no story. <clears throat> She's either in on it or, well, you know, things aren't looking too good for her. What about the neighbour? Has she seen anything? I can't really rely on what she says, but she was going on about Lawrence and his wife having huge shouting matches. You know, she couldn't even bear to listen, that sort of thing. Yeah, it turns out uh, this mate of yours, Lawrence, is a wife basher. He's got a record. Uh, well, I wouldn't know about that. He's only been married 18 months. Oh, no, uh, uh, the record was for assaulting his first wife. Lorna Murdoch. Warner, mm. yeah. Thanks, Jeff. Oh, mate, didn't you hear? We got divorced ten years ago. Guess I should have let you know. Maybe you and Lorna could have got something going after all. And uh, well, Aaron's not here at the moment. I don't really see what I can do. I'd just like to check a few details, Mrs. Murdoch. Can we come in? Your son was home all night last night, was he, Miss Murdoch? Yes, um, we watched uh, television. Oh. Some science fiction thing. Finished about 11, then we went to bed. Right, what time did he leave this morning? Oh, about 8. Said he had a meeting with George. Uh, Mrs Murdoch, uh, George Lawrence was charged twice with assault when you were married, yeah? I don't want to talk about that. Well, you see, the thing is, we think he was also assaulting Michelle Lawrence. I said, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. Well, your son was saying that they had a happy marriage. I mean, do you know anything about that? Really, I, I don't at all. Mrs Murdoch, are you aware of any problems with Femform recently? What sort of problems? Oh, you know, legal, financial, staff redundancies, that sort of thing. Anything that might cause someone to have a problem with George or his company? It's not Femform that's the problem. Why do you say that? Look, Aaron told me Michelle's missing. If George did to her what he did to me for ten years, you don't have to look very far for a motive. She obviously thinks a new wife killed him. Yeah, yeah. relationships, eh? Oh, they're not all like that, you know? What? Well, like, one bad relationship, right? 
It doesn't necessarily mean I'll look, that, that... I'll, I'll, I'll just you know, get this everyone... phone call. Okay. Yeah, Goldstein. Oh, Helen, yeah? Mike. Right? Well, I, I had this hunk on Artie, right? Where? Now, they had a relationship. They had okay. to work on it for Where years there? and years. Michelle Lawrence's oh, car's been found in a servo in Gosford. Right. It's like us, right? We're very different. Who says we're having a relationship? Yeah, I was opening up this morning and there was this car sitting parked over there. A oh, black Volvo? Yeah. yeah, I thought it might be a client's. So I was checking it out and, and these two blokes come over. They said that they left the car there last night, the thermostat had gone, they were after a new one. So I was taking them into the shop and the king hit me. Jeez, how long were you out for? I don't know. By the time my mechanic showed up, the place had been cleared out and the car was gone. They found me tied up in the jets. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, can you remember anything about these blokes who clocked you? Yeah. The main thing I remember is they talk weird. Weird? Uh, what do you yeah, mean weird? How weird? Weird? Yeah. I reckon they're on something. Ah, oh, right. Hey, sir. Yeah. From Jack and Rachel. Could be the blokes that knocked off George Lawrence. All right. Talk to the son. On the way. Hang on. What? I'm coming with you. Yes. Lorna Murdoch. Yes. Uh, Detective Michael Riley from the Sydney Water Police. Right. This is Chief Inspector. Jeff Hawker. <laughs> Long time no see. Hello, Lorna. Do you mind if we come in? Oh, no, no. Not a bit. After you, Chief. <laughs> Mrs. Murdoch, do you recognise these two men? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Is your son home? Yes, he's uh, in the yard. Well, well, well. Jeff Hawker. Lorna Murdoch. Want to sit down? No, it's... I don't remember you ever smoked. I'm trying to give it up. Took it up when I lived with George. It was either that or drink. I don't know them. No, no, hurry. Take your time. Maybe you've seen them at work. Security guards, labourers, car parking attendants. Oh, sorry. So, you say the car was sighted at Gosford? Yeah, that's right. Does it mean anything to you? No. Gosford. But Mr Lawrence, I believe that your father had several convictions of assault against your mother. Uh, no, 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 no. There was only two. OK, two convictions. But how often did he beat her? Occasionally? Frequently? What the hell has this got to do with anything? Well, our information is that George and Michelle had screaming matches almost every night, and yet you told us earlier that they were happily married. Mm hmm Well... I just thought that a kid that had seen his mother used as a punching bag by his father would at least be able to spot it if it was happening again. Well, it wasn't. So you never saw anything? No, they were happy. So how long since your wife left? Four months. Is she coming back? Yeah. Well, yeah, I think she is, yes. And what if she doesn't? I'm not thinking like that. I have to be positive. Doctor's orders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why didn't I choose you? Wanted the good life. I thought George could give it to me. You mean money? No, George was on his way to becoming a wealthy man. Uh, he could give me a life you couldn't. You know, he named that boat of his after me? Right. I believe it's called a Michelle now. Should have known better. Bad luck to change the name of the boat. I see you're still as delicate as ever. You know, when you've had a life with someone, you, you can't split that. Property, money, kids, OK, but not the life. If it doesn't work out with Gail, any one of you is going to walk away with your life intact. Make sure it's you. 
<clears throat> uh, sir, are you ready to go? I'll be in love. Get me another packet. Sure. Don't be a stranger. Okay, Mick, yeah. Yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, we're heading back now. Okay. Hey, what about the face image? Did Aaron or Lorna recognise anyone? No, uh, no, blank. So, it's down to Michelle Lawrence, wherever the hell she is. Well, nothing's changed there, right? She's either run off or she's been abducted or... or she's dead. Or she's dead. Standing by for Water Police 200. Yeah, Water Police 200. Information on Gosford cars. Your suspect vehicle has been used in an armed robbery. Two suspects are in possession of firearms. Gosford 1 is in pursuit on the coast road. Yeah, OK, well, we'll head back that way. We'll switch to the local channel. Yeah. Over and out. Okay. Coast road? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Put the scary one on. Yeah. Ready? Okay, let's go. Let's do it. for them, right? I can't see it. Yeah. Hey, listen, listen. Okay, right. let's pull across the other side and slow yep. them down. Okay. Turn it, turn it! Keep them there. Right. Okay, you've done this before, eh? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Let's go. What's that? What have we got here, right? Yeah, you got anything else? Uh, you got anything on you? Got anything on you? What about you tell him? What am I What do you tell him? You tell him! You tell him! Shut up! What do you tell him? Well, you shut up and you tell us. I reckon you should check the boot. You want to hold it? Michelle Lawrence? Hey, we've been looking for you. Who, who the hell is George Lawrence? He was killed yesterday. He was shot. <laughs> so? So? It was his wife's car you were driving. She was in the boot where you put her. <laughs> no way, man. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I've never even seen her before. So, are you sure about that? I told, I told you where we were. Gosford Methadone Clinic. Right, not all day you weren't. What time were you there? What time were you there? Hey! Hey! Did you steal money from the safe to buy drugs? You got the wrong bloke. Look, why did you move the body? Why did you move the body? We're at Gosford. We're at Gosford. Look, did you stuff his mouth full of pantyhose and blow his brains out? Yeah. Did you kidnap his wife? Did you kidnap his wife? You didn't kidnap anyone. We grabbed our gear about four. Then we knocked off a slug and we went out. This morning we were stinging for a taste. 
So we saw the servo opening up. There was no one around. So we knocked it over. Now, we already seen the car there. It was wide open, keys in it. You know, after a bit, this thumping started coming from the boot. Why didn't you check it out? <laughs> it wouldn't have got us any drugs. George is dead. You didn't know? Well, they told me that they killed him, but I'd... I'd hoped that maybe... Do you know the men who kidnapped you? But they were waiting in the house when you got there, is that right? They were behind the front door. They knocked me out when I came in. How long were you unconscious? I don't know. Mrs Lawrence, can you confirm that the men in your house are the same ones that were in your car? What do you mean? Well, we have a witness that it said that they saw you just after 1am this morning and that you were with one man and not two and that shortly after you got in your runabout and that you drove away. So, how come you ended up in the boot? That's wrong. Well, our witness is positive. Look, I, I don't remember being in the runabout. When I came to, I was in the boot of my car. I was in the boot. You know that. You got me out. Oh. Yeah. Any phone messages for me? Ah, uh, don't know. They'd be on your desk. You right there, Riley? Uh, yes, sir. I was just looking for the post-mortem and lab reports on George Lawrence. Taylor said you had them. I do. Oh, listen, sir, you never... you never asked me whether Aaron Lawrence recognised any of those faces. I mean, I can understand, you, you know, your close friendship and relationship with Lorna Murdoch. Um, drop the subject. Riley. I just want you to know we've got the investigation under control and if you feel like you've got to create some distance between you and Lorna, then, then drop the subject. Well, Michelle Lawrence reckons they were already in the house when she got home. What time was that? About six. Those pair of guys were at four. It's tight, but it's not impossible. Hmm? I thought they were telling the truth, actually. Huh. I was in the viewing room. All right. Oh, they convinced you, did they, Jeff? Yeah, matter of fact, I did. Well, Michelle Lawrence has identified them. I mean, if you're right, that means she's lying about being kidnapped. Then how did she end up in the boot of a car? Yeah, well, that I don't know. Oh, thanks, Jeff. If we need any more help with the job, I'll let you know. Good on you, chap. The gun they used didn't match the bullet that they found in George Lawrence's body. There were semen stains on the sheets. One matched George Lawrence, the other one didn't. There you go, Jack. It's all in the report. Still, you've got it all under control, haven't you, son? Hey. Hey, Aaron. Detectives, what can I do for you? Uh, we're actually looking for Michelle. No, she's not here. Well, we spoke to her at the hospital. She's getting out today, isn't she? Oh, sorry. Come in. Thanks. Come on. Michelle called me after you spoke to her. She was very upset. She said that you accused her of killing my father, is that right? Well, there's a few details we have to clear up. Well, maybe I can help. Our crime scene police found deposits of semen on the bedsheets in here. One of them wasn't your father's. Michelle Lawrence had a lover, didn't she? My father suspected she did, yes. Who was it? It was me. Look, you're right about my father. It wasn't a happy marriage. Michelle Lawrence needed a friend. And in the end, it became more than that. Well, how long have you been seeing her for? Since they got back from their second honeymoon, obviously it didn't go that well. Look, Aaron, do you want to stop doing that? i tell you one thing. You should have told us this before. Yeah, well, it's not something I'm really proud of. Was there something else you want to tell us about your father's death? Hey, I, I did not kill him. And I don't believe Michelle did either. 
Really, if you want to speak to Michelle, I called her at the hospital, offered to pick her up. She said no, that she'd get a taxi here and that she couldn't face being in their house right now. What'd she go? I don't know. She wouldn't say. You sure? Yeah, she said she wanted to spend the night alone. And you're not going to keep her company? Hey, mate, I'm... Mate, I'm putting aside my father's things. And my mum won't do it. Michelle shouldn't have to. And, hey, considering the circumstance, I guess I own that much. that way. Right here. You off home? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have an early night. Yeah, I'm off to bed. Bed? Yeah, lucky you. <laughs> See ya. Hey, do you iron your sheets? What? Well, you know, like your shirts. You know, starched, iron sheets. Well, you like them, Iron? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I own them. Yeah. I see. No, look, um, I've got to do this work. It's, I've got heaps of work to do. down here. Yeah. All right. No one? All right. Yeah, well, thanks for checking. Thank you. Is that the hospital? Yeah, no one called Michelle a taxi, apparently, but no one saw her getting picked up by anyone. Right. Well, she's been shot in the chest. There's some drops of blood leading from down below. In the weekend? No. Yeah. Did you see anything at all? Any sign of a gun? No, nothing, Sarge. Nothing. Mm. Look, Mick can handle it here. Let's go see Aaron Warren, see? See you, see, you. see you later, guys. Dead? Yeah. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Look, Aaron, we're going to have to ask you a few questions. Oh, look, why now? Can't you just leave him alone? Mrs Murdoch, I know this isn't easy, but we really do have to talk to your son. Mum, go outside and have a cigarette. I don't want a cigarette. Go outside. It's all right. Uh, hey, I didn't kill her. So what's going on, Aaron? Hey? Did you kill your dad? Were you and Michelle in it together? You know, made it look like a home invasion? Is that what's going on? And how the two junkies fit in? We know they had nothing to do with it. We know Michelle Lawrence lied about them kidnapping her. She must have been freaked when she rang you from the hospital. Did you pick her up? Did you say everything was going to be OK, calm her down, then you took her out to the yacht and then you shot her? Then you went back to your dad's house and you started packing up? Is that what happened? No, no, that's not true. There's a lot of people at the yacht club, mate. One of them will have seen something. We'll find them. You can go, Mr. Lawrence. Detective Riley said you didn't notice anyone around the marina while you were setting up, huh? That's right. I really didn't notice. Well, no one in a dinghy or runabout, you know, young bloke, mid-twenties, good-looking, dark. I really don't know. Uh, I, I just thought you'd been an artist, you know, with your attention to detail, that you, you might have noticed something. Are you a painter, detective? Nah. It's a pity. You see, 
There are various, how can I describe it, agents that one uses in order to attain a certain heightened sensitivity. Uh, what sort of agents are we talking about here? Uh, my preferred one is alcohol. Uh, but, uh, Mr. Salvador, how many bottles had you drunk uh, before you discovered the body? Uh, two bottles of Savion Blanc, uh, Margaret River, if I remember. Uh, delightfully crisp. Uh, yeah, thanks for your trouble. Right. And just a second, what's this? Uh, when did you take this? Uh, just before I found the lady's body. Right, do you know the boy in the photo here? Y yes, he comes here quite often. He usually comes here with her. Uh, I thought I'd put him in the picture. Uh, element of tragedy, so to speak. Uh, what do you think? I think you're a bloody ball, Sarah. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> yeah. OK. I did it. I killed Michelle, then I killed my dad. I shouldn't have used the same gun for both of them. That's what gave me away, isn't it? Oh, that and killing her at the yacht club. I told you someone would have seen you. Yeah, that was stupid. So, what else do you want to know? Why'd you put pantyhose in your father's mouth? I thought it would muffle the gunshot. Right, and why'd you drag him onto the bed? Well, I couldn't leave him the way he was. He was my dad. And Michelle? Well, it was supposed to look like a home invasion. Leaving the car, putting her in the boot was her idea. And if those two guys hadn't come along and stolen it, she would have been found heaps sooner like we'd planned. No, actually, I, um, why'd you kill her? Well, I, I couldn't trust her. She was, she was going to leave me. She was going to take all the money. Well, she didn't love you? Well, I thought she did. She was just using me. And why'd you put her onto the bow? Yeah. I guess it was like my dad. I wanted to make her look beautiful. Someone's going to have to tell his mother. Dear. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, I can do it. Sorry. It would be better coming from you anyway. What'll happen now? The detectives will turn up with Aaron. They'll look for corroborating evidence and after that he'll be charged. Did he ask for his lawyer? No. No, he said he didn't need one. <sighs> this is my fault, you know. No, no, it's not. It's not. Yes, it is. He told me ten years ago this was going to happen. What did he say? He promised me that one day he'd give me everything that George should have. The yacht, the business, everything. Oh, God, I held him to that. Every time I went on about George, I pushed him further. when they come. I'll go. Lorna. Is there anything you want me to tell Aaron? Oh, just say, um, I understand. Yes, I will. Oh. Have you seen Jeff? Yeah, he's gone to see Aaron Lawrence's mum. Well, what's the problem? Oh. Nothing is why I finally called, that's all. I'll leave you to it. All right, thank you. Did you see my mum? Yeah, I just spoke to her. Is she all right? She's fine. She said to so she understands. 
Thanks. That's the jacket. Right. So you had this on when you killed Michelle Lawrence? Yeah. And those are the trousers. Hey, Jack. It's interesting. It's a receipt from Sinclair Pharmacy, you know, Sinclair Street, where the yacht club is, yeah, that chemist yeah, next to it. Yeah. So? Well, um, the date's the same, and the time puts it very close to when you uh, killed Michelle Lawrence. So what'd you buy? How'd you get to the yacht club? I drove. I, I'd arranged to meet Michelle the bite at 12.30. Right, and you stopped uh, at a pharmacy on the way to get condoms, all right? Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, what sort you buy? At least tell us the order it happened. What'd you do? Right? Did you get in a bit of kinky stuff? Hey? Well, were you standing when you shot her? Yeah, what? Well, stand on the bow like this. She tried to give it to her through the head like that, down through the head. Yeah, it was like that. No, Aaron, you don't know. You didn't kill her. The killer didn't stop at a pharmacy for condoms. The killer didn't even take their car. They took a dinghy. Do you know what they did to Michelle? They snuck on the boat, they knocked her out, they wrapped an anchor chain round her neck, they strung her up while she was still alive, they jumped back in the dinghy, they shot her through the heart, and then they went home. Now, why are you taking the rap for this? Hey, Lorna. Hi, Jeff. Sit down. You want a beer? Oh, nothing. Pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's very pretty. I feel peaceful, you know. For the first time in years. I thought you'd given up. You bought the Nicorettes at the pharmacy opposite the yacht club, didn't you? Detectives found the receipt. You killed Michelle. Why? She was going to get everything. Everything that was mine. I told her that I knew that she and Aaron had killed George. We had things to discuss. She was very kind. When did you know that Aaron killed his father? Not at the start. Aaron told me later. He needed another buy. I gave him one. I just don't understand. You let your son take the blame for Michelle's death. Wanted to. He loves me. I'm his mother. Time to go, Lorna. Five more minutes, Jeff. After 25 years. Come on, Lorna. Car's waiting. Guess what? What? Bring your wife. And how are the kids? 
Oh, that's great. Good. Yeah. So, tonight's all right? Yeah, okay. Well, um, shall we say about seven? Yeah. I'm really looking forward to seeing you, Gail. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Right on. See you then. Bye. Jeff. God, you, you look terrific. Thanks. Sit down, sit down. What can I get you? Uh, Jeff, I... Uh, the time. Lost well, a bit of weight. Off the birds, doctor's orders. What do you think? I can't stay. No, you've only just got here. Sit, sit, sit down. Please, I, I wanted to see you. I, I need to talk to you about this. I've been doing a lot of thinking, Jeff. Don't do this, girl. And I've decided... Don't go, please. ...that I can't stay married to you any longer. Please, girl. No, I've been to see a solicitor, and I've started divorce proceedings. Please don't do Here's this. Papers. Please. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 